In this video, we're going to look at how you can plan your business trip and what to consider. We're going to look at the different categories and different expense items, uh, approximate costs for those based on the uh, duration of your travel, and then how to track actuals so you reconcile and learn something from the experience. And we'll look at the travel considerations before you start your trip. What should you be looking for? So let's look at those first. So for travel consideration, you want to consider uh, what kind of documents uh, you need and uh, do you have all of them. For example, if you're doing air travel domestically, do you have IDs, uh, could be driver's license, could be passport, could be uh, other state ID. Um, for international travel, you might need uh, passport and visa. Uh, you want to make sure you have all the addresses of the places that you're going because even if you fly to the destination you still need to get to this place and you need to be able to communicate either you're renting a car to get there or you need to uh, plan for uber but you need to have addresses you need to know where you're going or at least the name of the place and you can always look up the address on google maps Um, method of transportation, how would you travel? Uh, you need to make this call either by air, or using the car, using the bus, Amtrak, or maybe some other ways of transportation. Um, how would you get best pricing uh, to be at your destination? So there are a lot of places um, where you can shop for better pricing, especially for airfare and hotels. So you want to make sure you check out those uh, before you go and maybe plan ahead of time. Uh, getting to the destination ahead of time so you can get a good rest, especially important for the business trip. So don't just plan to be somewhere one hour before you need to be there, especially for the long trip. If, you, if it takes a long time to get there, you want to be in your uh, best self uh, for that trip. So probably would want to maybe spend the night at the hotel and be fresh next morning when the event starts. Uh, you want to make sure you plan for additional fees like luggage, tolls, um, if you're driving. Luggage could be the large items. Um, sometimes, nowadays, mostly all of the airlines, they charge extra for luggage, so it's not part of the main ticket that you buy. And so having some cash on hand for emergencies. So typically the way you travel is you might be flying to the destination, you're either renting a car to get to Uber or uh, uh, get the car or Uber to get to the hotel. You stay at the hotel, you get to your destination area, um, either by taxi or Uber. And then uh, you go there, you plan for some meals, right? Along the way you can eat at the hotel or you can eat at the venues next to the target place um, then you get back to the hotel or you go for a dinner you may need to go for a lunch right and that include uh, meals uh, expenses and then you go potentially in the evenings maybe for a dinner or if you have some time maybe visit some local uh, shows museums or whatever destination you're targeting
So we'll have two columns here. One is the budget. This is based on actual uh, on the plan and research that we've done, and we'll have column D that will show actuals here, so we can track actuals, and we'll put some descriptions here. And by the way, this file can be downloaded from the links that you can get in the description for this video. So please make sure to check out the description uh, for the downloaded file that you can reuse. And as a bonus, uh, you can see there are multiple tabs here. You can do expense reporting for the business trips and have a separate video on that. So make sure you watch out and uh, look for that as well. But speaking about uh, budget planning, uh, what we have, we have uh, transportation costs. Uh, that's an uh, estimate for the car rental. So upon arrival, uh, you can rent the car. You can, there are a lot of places, a lot of times at the airport. The assumption here is that you travel by air. You buy air ticket and the price estimated is $400. Then you come in there, you rent the car for a week. So this is a week long trip, actually maybe even six days uh, trip. So you fly in on Sunday and then coming back on Friday, uh, staying uh, five nights. Uh, airfare, I mentioned uh, parking, so you need to get to the airport uh, with your own vehicle uh, and park it there for those six days and when you fly, uh, you keep the vehicle at the airport, wherever your home base is, and then you come back and you pay for the parking. To get to your destination, we estimated Uber and taxi in the amount of $100, lodging at the hotel at the amount of $125, meals, the amount $45 a day, and then uh, entertainment, some shows or uh, museums or whatever you want to see uh, that falls into this category. And the actual numbers for this travel were a little bit different. Obviously, some of them are higher, some of them are lower, and this is what you determine based on the receipt. Uh, and you can see the slight difference for some categories and bigger difference for other categories. Uh, but what we can do now, we can use AutoSum Excel function. Just click on AutoSum and it sums up all the values in this column. And that's the budgeted amount. And then um, this is the actuals amount from your trip. And hopefully this is something that you'll be able to learn from if it's a learnable experience and learn for the future. Why do you have a difference and maybe do a better planning next time. Hope you have learned something and enjoyed this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button to stay in touch with me on YouTube. And join my email list so I can share with you more information about my free training courses. Hope to see you back soon. Again, this is Vadim Michalenka. Thanks again for watching.